big Sarasota came a mighty racing man with shoulders broad and courage rare and a steady driving hand. From the smallest dusty dirt tracks to racing's hall of fame, he won everything there was to win. Jimmy Bryan was his name. Jimmy Bryan is probably the most uh, famous race car driver from the state of Arizona. Um, he was three times national driving champ. Um, he at one point was probably more popular than uh, Barry Goldwater and was just beloved by literally millions of people. He raced with a cigar in his mouth, but he had a elements to his personality that he was so approachable and just so likable. Jimmy Bryan showed at a very early age um, a knack for um, thrill-seeking. He uh, was a graduate of Phoenix Union High School, was uh, involved in track, was an excellent pole vaulter, and um, according to his dad, he, um, as early as 12, 13 years old, wanted to race. One of the more renowned uh, locations that he used to race was the old Phoenix Raceway, which was on Thomas Road, and he used to, as a teenager, uh, take the lights off of his 32 Ford Roadster and race at night and then put the lights back on when he would drive home at night. These fairgrounds are quite historic because they played a role in three of his most incredible wins um, here, 1954, 1955, and 1957. In fact, it was here in 1957 that he clinched his third driving championship. Well. Jimmy Bryan had won pretty much everything there was to win in racing, uh, but he still wanted and craved that Indy 500 win. The race uh, had one of the worst first lap accidents that actually claimed a third of the cars uh, in that race. It was a glorious win for him. Shirley MacLaine was a tr uh, the trophy girl, and it uh, really exalted his career. I think he continued racing because he loved racing, he loved winning, uh, he couldn't get it out of his blood, and it's what ultimately led him to um, want to keep racing in 1960 to come out of a semi-retirement, um, and so that's what he did in Langhorne, Pennsylvania, which was considered one of the most dangerous places to race. In fact, you know, Mario Andretti today says he hated that place. They had a, a corner called Puke Hollow where it was actually a, uh, a, a dip in the track. The likelihood is that he actually brushed wheels with another vehicle and that's what catapulted his car. He was dead on Father's Day of June 19, 1960. Well, I think uh, a story like My Hero, My Friend, Jimmy Bryan is timeless because um, everybody dreams about what it would be like to be close to their hero. And uh, Jimmy Bryan was a larger than life figure who uh, was very accessible to a lot of kids who grew up in Phoenix. I mean, how many of us would just love that experience of being able to hang out with your hero? And uh, that's what made him such a unique person. Three times national racing champ, the big 502. He won them all, but still found time to laugh and joke with you. The other men were trying to beat Jimmy Bryan. But Jimmy was a fly.